What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Heart Gold Soul Silver walkthrough. Okay, so yeah. In our last episode, we went through a bit of a long uh you know, a long way to get to Lavender Town. And well, before we get to the rock tunnel, we're gonna be going straight here to Route 8 because we still got more trainers to defeat. And yeah, you know, who doesn't like yeah, who doesn't like getting experience points and trying to evolve Pokemon because, you know, our good old buddy Darkseid is about to evolve. So, let's go ahead and start off this episode with making this Pokemon evolve. So, there we go. Earthquake attack for the win and Darkseid grows to level 55. We've done it. So, they, d they said we couldn't do it, but we did. We got Darkseid a while back. We replaced Thrasher with them, and it was a huge risk because Thrasher was already miles ahead of it, but look at this, Darkseid. Finally a Tyranitar, one of the most powerful Pokemon in Johto, a pseudo-legendary Pokemon. Let's go right ahead and take a look at this Pokemon right here, because man, I've been wanting this Pokemon for a long time, so we're gonna speed this through. And yeah, that's a little too far, because we've already seen some, uh, we've already seen some Hoenn Pokemon right here. And there he is. You can't find him anywhere, but here is our good old buddy. Okay, can't do that. Wow. I'm trying to make it dramatic here. Our good old buddy, Tyranitar, the armor Pokemon. Both rock and dark type, six feet, seven inches. You know, or no, just six feet. 40, 445 pounds of pure muscle. Its body can't be harmed by any sort of attack, so it is very eager to make challenges against enemies. Oh my god, Darkseid, how you doing? Look at this guy, it's happy. It's coming along happily. Okay, let's go right ahead and let's just, let's let's go ahead and see what Darkseid can do. And it does have, it does have Sandstream, and I think Earthquake Attack does affect Magnemite, so yeah, we're gonna be, look at this, this Pokemon is just stupid strong. Cinder finally grows to level 50, and, well, here we go again, Earthquake Attack, so there you go, guys, Darkseid. Yes, it is a monster. A monster. Now, we can focus on everybody else because we already have two level 50 Pokemon. Let's go with Nessie right here. Let's go right ahead and start beating everybody up. Okay, so this route right here, you know, home to a, a few trainers going into Celadon or Saffron City. And as you guys can see, we got two Pokemon from the, from the Hoenn region. And, or actually, is it the Hoenn region? Yes. Let's go ahead and use Stone Edge right here. So there we go. Stone Edge does that, and Ice Beam does that, and we win. Yes. Okay. So let's see. There should be a line of Pokemon trainers right here, but that was back in the day. Now they're gone, and well, it is time for us to just start focusing on our usual Pokemon right here. And here comes a Muck. Let's go with Togepi. Togepi as well has come along as uh, with uh, with what it can do, and well, just like that, we win. Okay, and, well, the Kanto Rider Federation, or the Kanto Bike Federation is waiting for me, so yeah, we're going to be kicking some butt right here. There they are! We're the Kanto Pokemon Federation! Rock on! Now, if you're the Pokemon Federation, kind of like the WWE, or WWF back in the day, why, where's the wrestlers? Seriously, I want to I see the, the wrestlers. So here we have another guy waiting for me. The cups shut down our underground path. That really annoys me. Hmm. It does. Okay, let's go. How's it going, Flareon? Say goodbye. Flareon defeated. And here we have another individual. And he's like, we're the Kanto Federation trainer group. We'll drive under your wheel. Okay, yeah, you, you, whatever. We're going to beat you with ice beams. Yes, and coughing. So let's give that to our good old buddy, Fluffle. And signal beam does that. Discharge does this, and we're gonna be spreading the love everywhere. So let's go with Cinder right here, mooching off everybody's experience points. So here we go, flamethrower for the win, and finishing this guy off one more time. And look at that, Cinder kicking butt, taking names. And uh, well, there really, there really isn't anything else except the entrance to Saffron City. As many of you guys already know, we've been there. The notice is torn and is impossible to read. Which would state that, you know, the place is closed down because of a lot of Pokemon battles. I wonder who started those. And, uh, well, there's nothing there. So it is finally time for us to go straight to the 
rock tunnel, and I do believe you need a uh, flash, which we already got that covered. As you guys can see, there there has been a nice change right here. Look at that. Okay. So we're going to be battling, and this guy has himself a Quagsire, so what can it be? Body slam. Body slam. And we're asleep. You're powering, you're powering me up, homeboy. And there we go. Body slam for the win. Cinder grows level 51. Yes. Okay, let's go right ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Go back to Togepi, and well, let's see, let's see what happens right here. You do need strength, which I think I do have. Yes, good old buddy, our buddy, what's his name? Uh, Heracross or Hercules has finally got it. And look at this, grabbed ourselves the TM69 Rock Polish, which speeds up any Rock type Pokemon, because you guys already know, Rock type Pokemon. Not the fastest. And, well, I'm checking for some hidden items right here. And before we battle that guy, I kind of want to see if there's a hidden item right here. No. Okay, so I think we need to switch out our Pokemon for that guy because he, he, he does look like he has himself like some pretty interesting Pokemon. And, well, he did. It's just, you know, I made a ma big mistake, so here we go. And just like that. We get a little more HP, and we win. Machamp. Okay, so let's go into Rock Tunnel and see what this place has to offer. As you guys can see, Rock Tunnel still lives up. Oh, crap, Baskets. <laughs> oh, hi, Draven. This is the Warden, and we've come up with new objects, and... Okay. I completely forgot, guys. Yeah, I completely forgot about the quality of this game in comparison to the other one. So I gotta switch out the, the, the game state, or the, the game console. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so we're back guys, and we got the uh, regular disc movement right here, which will allow us to see everything in the rock tunnel. Now, I don't necessarily know why this does it, but um, there are quite a few disc movements out there different rates. What I'm using right now is the Dismume 0.9.13 times 64. What I was, uh, this is the one with the, well, like, you know, the the quality that I'm, that I'm in right now. The better quality, I can't remember what it was called. I'll let you guys know about that, but for some reason, I guess it sacrifices good quality for dark time, night time, and all that stuff. And uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't really get it, but as you guys can see right here, you're going to be finding yourself some pretty interesting Pokemon. One of which is a Cubone, and, you know, I kind of want to capture it. Let's see. Ah, we got a Dust Ball right here, and there we go. We caught ourselves Cubone, and I completely forgot. I completely forgot its nickname back in the uh, other version, but I will eventually nickname it, and, well... The Pokemon in in Rock Tunnel right here, they are harmless. They really are. You got yourself a level 14 uh, Machoke. That right there is something... That's a, that's something different. Now, the reason I don't put on a Repel is because I do believe that you can actually find yourself a Kangaskhan around here. I could be wrong. Okay, so here we are in Rock Tunnel, and... You will be finding some interesting stuff. Now, you do need Rock Climb in order to get these items right here. And I'm pretty darn sure that some of those items are rare items. So, we're going to have to wait on that. And, huh. Well, would you look at that? Let's see. There we go. So, I was about, I was about to say, we're not allowed to pass through without the Rock Climb? That's pretty, that's pretty lame. Okay, so. Let's see. Let's see what we can do. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, there's nothing. Okay, so it looks like to me I'm gonna just have to put on a repel because I really, 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 I would as much as I would like to capture a Kangaskhan, I I would rather not get attacked by these Pokemon right here. It's you know kind of annoying. So uh, let's go right here, and here we are in another part of Rock Tunnel. Now there are items right here, decent items. And to me, it just looks like, let's see, there we go, we found ourselves an X accuracy. To me, it just looks like that the items that are there, you won't be able to get because of the rock climb. So we're gonna have to, I guess we're gonna have to pay another visit to this place. And, well, never mind, we got this. And we found ourselves a revive, which is pretty cool. And, well, let's go right here. 
And let's see what else we can actually find. Now we can go into this section, and this one will actually go here. Oh, okay, so... Now, if you guys don't know, if you... If you actually break these rocks, you can actually find yourself a rare Pokemon. I'm not trying to do that right now because, well, I don't have any Pokemon with uh, Rock Climb. Or Rock Smash or anything like that, so... Let's go right ahead and continue on forward right here. Hmm. I think we can go there. I need to... I kind of want to grab the items first, so let's go right here. And here we found ourselves a PP up. And... Well, let's see what... Let's see what we could find right here. Let's see. Oh, that's an that's another area right there. So, never mind. Let's go. Okay, so now it's time for us to get the heck out of here. And this one will lead us to this room right here. And there it is, guys. We finally got ourselves out of Rock Tunnel. Okay, so here we are in Route 10. What we're going to do right now is I'm going to be switching up my Pokemon because we need a Pokemon with Surf. And I'm going to be switching up a few things here and there. So I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, so here we are back, guys. And we made a we made one switch going into Route 10. Now, as you guys can see, the quality has gotten better. And the Desmume that I'm using for the better quality is the Desmume X432R. That right there has the same kind of like, you know, gameplay and all that stuff, but the quality, like the 3D, it's a lot better. Um, I'm pretty sure many of you guys would love the better quality if you guys are future YouTubers or you guys are just, you know, aspiring YouTubers. And uh, it's actually a great thing that I found out about this because, well, shoot. It's kind of funny, guys. Now, the thing that I lack... So there's something that I lack right here and that I've been lacking until recently, and that is... Yeah, I don't really read into... I don't really read into a lot of, uh, you know, ways to progress my YouTube channel. I just go as I go because, well, shoot. Uh, that's how I did things. Well, nowadays, like, I actually write down all my stuff. The last episodes and, you know, I actually look into different ways to making my YouTube better because, well, you know, I, I do care about the quality of stuff. And this is one of uh, the successes. Now, here we are in the Kanto Power Plant. And what we're going to be doing right here is there is something afoot. And if you talk to this guy, he's like, A thief broke into the power plant. What is the world coming to? I don't know. So what we need to do is we actually have to go talk to... Yeah, we have to talk to the, the generator or the guy with the generator because he took an essential part of the generator to power up everything and has been abandoned in the past. But we got it back up, uh, back up running and provide uh, power to the magnet train. So, let's go ahead and talk to this guy. <laughs> I'm ready to blast something. Who would dare steal a part from the generator? I spent so much fixing it. If I catch him, I'm going to see what I can do with my charge beam. Oh, okay. Now, back then, it would have been Zap Cannon, and uh, that is not the case anymore. And, well, when we're about to leave, there is a phone turning on, and, well... I just got word from Cerulean City. It appears that a shady character has been loitering around. Going up to me, he's like, could I ask you, could I ask for your cooperation? The shady character ha ha was hanging around the Cerulean gym. Back then, it would have been, you know, could I ask for your cooperation? Never really understood that. But, you know, you guys already know what's going to happen next. Anywho, let's go ahead and move on. Let's go, let's go to Cerulean City. And this is probably the the oddest way of going. I don't know. I don't necessarily remember how I got to Cerulean City in the original Heart Gold walkthrough, but pretty sure it wasn't through this. So we're gonna keep on battling, talking more stories about how badass we are. And look at that, we win. And well, Hercules kicking some butt, taking some names. Look at that, and there we go. Okay, so we do need. We do need cut, and I do want to battle everybody here, so let's go right ahead and just battle everybody. Okay, so he's got himself an Onyx, and there we go. Let's go with this guy. Mud Bomb hits us, and there it is, and just like that, we get our win. So let's go straight for a full restore, and, well, let's go right ahead and move on right here. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Go ahead and battle this guy right here, and well, let's go with an aerial ace, and go with a brick break right here. That doesn't really work, but hey, wow, I completely forgot about Zen Headbutt. 
And just like that, we defeat our Golduck. And, well, let's go straight for Nessie right here. Go for a Waterfall attack. And, wow, nearly does it, but it's a Crush attack or Crush Claw. I used to think Crush Claw was, like, a badass move, but, like, the graphic, like, the animation to it, it just didn't really impress me much. And, well, let's go right ahead and talk to this guy, talking about Mount Silver. Let's go with a Brick Break. And just like that, we're winning a little bit, and Hercules grows to level 46, so let's continue on right here. And there we go, continuing on. Brick Break again, and there it is. We win. Now, we do need Cut for that. Pretty sure it's I'm pretty sure it's something important, which I will get to off screen and all that stuff. And we're gonna be taking on well, we already took on that guy. So there's a there's a few items right here that you can actually get. And this one. Yes, we do need max potion. And well, let's go ahead and battle this person right here. And well, let's go straight forward in aerial ace. And that defeats well, that defeats our little opponent right there. So we're going to continue on with Hercules because obviously, yeah, obviously we can't really, holy crud, we can't really switch out Pokemon because it will be poison and just like that we defeat Raichu and there is the win. Okay, so who is next? Let's see, we go right here, I think we already, no, there's, there's maybe one or two more, so let's go right ahead and do that. Talk to this person and doesn't like littering so let's go with a brick break right here that does it for the win and cinder grows level 52 let's switch out to flood vault and polyrath is looking pretty meaty and bam and here comes primate so let's go let's see oh yeah we did switch out our pokemon holy crud okay we switched out for our good old buddy our good old buddy what you might call it uh thrasher just for this occasion and just like that we win and there it is, guys. We have arrived in Cerulean City. It has been a while. I know. And, uh, well... The next episode is going to be interesting because we're going to be battling quite a few people. We're going to be doing a few things. And uh, from there, hopefully we'll get to a gym battle pretty soon here. So, I want to say thank you guys again for watching, for being patient, for being supportive and all that stuff. I now opened up a merch store, so if you guys are interested in getting uh, some official merch, it's right down below. Thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys next time.